Good morning. Welcome to the Institute for Spiritual Development. Now for our opening prayer. Dear Lord and Father, thank you that you promise us that where two or three are gathered, you are there in the midst. Lord, we welcome you amongst us today and celebrate the gift of life that you have lavished upon each of us. We ask that you would open our ears so that we may hear your voice. Open our minds so that we may receive your internal wisdom. Open our spirit so that we may know your leading and guidance. And open our hearts so that we may receive your wonderful love. We ask all this in the glorious name of Jesus. Amen. As we stand in awe of your goodness and mercy today, we invite you to be present amongst us by the power of your Holy Spirit. Father, we declare that we love you. Thank you that you have made the way of love known through your son, Jesus Christ. We pray that you would reveal this great love to us today as we gather to worship. Lead us by your spirit to praise you. May our hearts overflow with thanksgiving and our mouths proclaim your everlasting greatness. In the wonderful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Good morning. The Institute for Spiritual Development is a God-centered metaphysical church and community dedicated to our growing spiritual awareness in an atmosphere of unconditional love and acceptance. Welcome home. Please join me in reciting the prayer of St. Francis that is shown on your screen. Lord, make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. Lord, make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. Where there is sadness, ever joy. O oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned in giving of ourselves that we receive, and in dying that we're born to eternal life. Please join me with our Declaration of Principles, which unite us, which is shown on your screens. We believe in inte infinite intelligence. We believe that infinite intelligence expresses itself in, existence, in all existence and in humanity as a manifestation of divine love. <clears throat> we affirm the unity of all life everywhere. We believe in communion with all planes of existence and that meaningful communication flows from this connection. We affirm the divine right of each individual to seek the truth in accordance with their consciousness and that living in harmony with that truth defines true spirituality. We affirm that spiritual unfoldment is progressive and unending and that the doorway to reformation is never closed against any soul. We believe that the highest moralities contained in the mandate do unto others as you would have them do unto you. We affirm the personal responsibility of the individual and that we choose our happiness or unhappiness as we apply the laws of the universe. <clears throat> we affirm that life is eternal, that the existence and personal identity of the individual continue after the change called death. We believe the ultimate expression of God in our life is unconditional love of our neighbors and ourselves. 
We accept that the living gifts of prophecy and healing reported in all sacred scripture are an affirmation of divine spirit working through us. It's now time for the healing portion of our service. In preparation for healing, we ask that everyone remains in a prayerful and meditative state. If there's anyone that you know in need of a healing, please speak their name out loud or repeat it silently to yourself. Either way, the universe will hear your prayers. We ask for special healing for those open to healing and whose names are spoken, all those whose names are in the healing book, and special healing for those who serve in the military and on whose shoulders rest the decisions which will affect the nation. We ask for special healing for those who serve in civilian services here and abroad to protect others' rights and safety. We ask for special healing for frontline workers such as firemen, policemen, doctors, nurses, to work diligently and fearlessly to keep us safe, sacrificing it and putting our safety ahead of theirs. We also ask for special healing for those who face great hardships and life challenges of all kinds, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, persecution, slavery, prostitution, human trafficking, torture, and any other inhumane treatment. Dear Lord, we ask that you bless and heal everything and everyone that comes in your presence. And we ask for a special healing for those here in this congregation, all members, both physically and virtually, their loved ones and friends and family. We ask that you take away any and all physical, mental, emotional issues or ailments and send them down to Mother Earth or out into the ether for recycling and rejuvenation. We ask that you purify our beings of any toxins or chemicals that we, may, that we may have consumed or continue to consume with the air that we breathe or the food that we eat. We ask that you take away any fear or ego-based thoughts that they are not of love and light and replace them with faith, belief, love, light, joy, bliss, and hope now and for all eternity. And as we continue our healing portion of the service, We see ourselves sitting together in a circle, holding hands, feeling the unconditional love we have for each other in every cell of our body and being. And as we sit together, our energy becomes more and more powerful, exploding exponentially. As there is nothing stronger or greater than unconditional love. And we are so happy and grateful for this time that we have together to be one with each other and with our source and to be healed together. We feel the energy flowing. And all worry and concern and pain and darkness 
cannot survive in this energy field. Is brought down to Mother Earth for recycling. There's anyone you know in need of a special healing. You may imagine this person or this pet in the middle of our healing circle. For only health can survive. Be the healing angels. Blessing everyone and every being in this circle, including ourselves. And this amazing energy that we are all sharing together. The energy becomes stronger and stronger, circulating the circle. We feel so wonderful and blessed and powerful and strong. And in this circle, we can only see our loved ones and our loved pets the way that the vine sees them as perfectly healed and healthy. As by law of attraction, we get what we think about whether we like it or not. So we see only love and we see only health and we see only recovery. And as our circle continues to grow, we see more and more beings enter the circle. As it expands out through Madison and New Jersey, throughout the country and around the world. And we feel the gratitude from many beings for taking this time to send them the healing energy. Especially Mother Earth. As she provides us with a wonderful place to live the food that we eat, the air that we breathe. The homes that we live in, the clothes that we wear. So many wonderful things. And see Mother Earth healing herself from any pollution or destruction.
See the oceans clean. And the air fresh and healthy. And trees growing in abundance. Such a wonderful feeling of health. An abundance. I am the commanding conscious presence that demands peace and harmony in every area and aspect of my life. In my work, in my play, with my friends and family, and within my inner being, the peace and harmony of God are active, present, in full operation and complete manifestation. I send this peace out to every leader in every country and all who make decisions that bring change in our world. I know that the peace and harmony of God are active, in every person everywhere. I see this country surrounded by light as more people choose to meditate on peace. I surrender to spirit the ways in which this will happen. I lay aside my limited opinions as I place my trust in the infinite wisdom of God, knowing that peace and harmony awakens in the hearts, minds, imaginations, hopes, dreams, and wishes for everyone. Wherever there is God, peace and harmony are active, present, and in full manifestation. And so it is. Almighty God, you are the only source of health and healing. In you, there is calm and the only true peace in the universe. Grant to each one of us, your children, an awareness of your presence and give us perfect confidence in you. In all pain and weariness and anxiety, <clears throat> teach us to yield ourselves to your never failing care, knowing that your love and power surround us. Trusting in your wisdom and providence to give us health and strength and peace when your time is best. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now I invite you to join us in our congregational prayer, C24, which is on your screen. I am homeward bound. On the trails of time, I have carelessly fallen into pits of error, but I have always been rescued. O oh Lord, by your unseen hand, I have long been fashioning an inner world of obstacles between you and me shuttered huts of discouragement, barbed wire fences of habit, stone walls of indifference, mountains of indolence, and oceans of unfaithfulness. But now my heart is filled with divine determinations, O oh spirit, divine. Should the gods promise me untold years of worldly happiness without self-realization, the Lord would not, would not tempt me to forsake my search for you. Impediments beware, flee my path, I am homeward bound. The reading and homily this morning will be given by Reverend Diana Flanagan. The reading and homily is from The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. In his book, he speaks of being in the now or the present and how presence is the key to freedom. 
in the book, this question comes up. I don't see how I can be free now. As it happens, I am extremely unhappy with my life at the moment. This is a fact. And I would be deluding myself if I tried to convince myself that all is well when it definitely isn't. To me, the present moment is very unhappy. It's not liberating at all. What keeps me going is the hope or possibility of some improvement in the future. The answers. You think that your attention is in the present moment when it's actually taken up completely by time. You cannot be both unhappy and be present in the now. What you refer to as your life should more accurately be called your life situation. It is a psychological time, past and future. Certain things in the past didn't go the way you wanted them to go. You are still resisting what happened in the past, and now you are resisting what is. Hope is what keeps you going, but hope keeps you focused on the future. And this continued focus perpetuates your denial of the now and therefore your unhappiness. Next question. It is true that my present life situation is a result of things that have happened in the past, but it is still my present situation and being stuck in it is what makes me unhappy. He says, Forget about your life situation for a while and pay attention to your life. You ask, what is the difference? Your life situation exists in time. Your life is now. Your life situation is mind stuff. Your life is real. Find the narrow gate that leads to life. It is called the now. Narrow your life down to this moment. Your life situation may be full of problems. Most life situations are. But find out if there's any problems at this moment. Not tomorrow or in 10 minutes, but now. Do you have a problem now? Good morning. When you are full of problems, there is no room for anything new to enter no room for a solution. So whenever you can, make some room, create some space so that you can find the life underneath your life situations. Do this by trusting your senses fully. Look around you. See the shapes, colors, and textures that are around you. Be aware of the silent presence of things. Be aware of the space that allows everything to be. Listen to sounds. Don't judge them. Touch something, anything, and feel and acknowledge its being. Observe the rhythm of your breathing. Feel the air flowing in and out. Feel the life energy inside your body. Allow everything to be within and without. Allow the isness of all things move deeply into the now. When you are in the moment, you can ex access that place of joy. It is when you are connected to the source and nothing else is going on, you are open to receiving. This is the place of creation that Abraham talks about. Abraham, the channeled entities, say that you must be in a state of joy to create, and you access joy by being in the presence. This state can be accessed at any time, no matter what is going on in your life situation. We look at what's going on in our life as problems. Why do we need to make things into problems? Isn't life challenging enough as it is? What do we need problems for? The mind unconsciously loves problems because they give you an identity of sorts. This is normal, but it's unnecessary. You can become so overwhelmed by your life situation that you lose sense of life. 
of being. Or you are carrying in your mind the, the burden of a hundred things that you will or may have to do in the future. Instead of focusing your intention on the one thing that you can do now. When you create a problem, you create pain. And all it takes is a simple choice. I will create no more pain for myself. I will create no more problems. Although this is a simple choice, it's also very radical. You won't make that choice unless you are truly fed up with suffering, unless you've truly had enough. And you won't be able to go through with it until, unless you access the power of the now. If you create no more pain for yourself, then you create no more pain for others. And you no longer contaminate the beautiful earth, your inner spirit space, the collective human psyche with the negativity of problem solving. In the evolutionary collective, which I'm a part of, we talk about this as issuelessness, no issues. It just is. This is very freeing when you don't have a charge in something, and it just is. To alert yourself to see if you've been taken over by your life situation and or problems you can use simple criteria. Ask yourself, is there joy, ease, and lightness in what I am doing? If there isn't, then time is covering up the present moment and life is perceived as a burden or struggle. As soon as you honor the present moment, all unhappiness and struggle dissolve and life begins to flow with joy and ease. When you act out of present moment awareness, whatever you do becomes imbued with the sense of quality, care, and love. Even the most simple action, you let go, let God. Don't be concerned with the goal. Just give attention to the action itself. When the compulsive striving away from the now ceases, the joy of being flows into everything you do. The moment your attention turns to the now, you feel a presence, a stillness, a peace. You no longer depend on the future for fulfillment and satisfaction. You don't look to it for salvation. Therefore, you are not attached to the results. Neither failure nor excess has the power to change your inner state of being. You have found the life underneath your life situations. In the absence of psychological time, your sense of self is derived from being, not from your personal past. Therefore, the psychological need to become anything other than who you already is is no longer there. In the world, on the level of your life situation, you may indeed become wealthy, knowledgeable, successful, free of this or that. But in the deeper dimensions of being, you are complete and whole now. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. <clears throat> We now come to the prosperity portion of our service. The Institute for Spiritual Development appreciates your love and support. Please prepare your love offering. Please hold your gift between your hands to infuse it with your wonderful energy and with your hopes and wishes for this house of worship. Prosperity is a state of mind Prosperity is not only financial, it includes love, health, and happiness. We should think of ourselves in the Institute as being prosperous in peace, wisdom, service, as well as financial abundance. Divine love always has and divine love always will supply our every need. Bless these gifts, O Creator. Bless the souls that in their giving, abundance given back to them, and the cup overflows with love and prosperity.
O God, most merciful and gracious, of whose bounty we have all received, we pray that you accept this offering of thy people. Remember in them love those who bought it and those from whom it is given, and so follow it with thy blessing that it may promote peace and goodwill among men. Amen. And now it's time for announcements. And we'd like to thank everyone for joining us today. Um, we were going to do both physical and virtual, but due to COVID and the freezing temperatures, we decided virtual would be better. So welcome everyone and hope you're all staying nice and warm. And we continue our services on the first and third Sundays of the month. And we continue our Wednesday night meditation classes. If you'd like to see what our classes are about, we can go to our YouTube channel which we have a link on our website. We also have a donation button on our website if you'd like to make a financial contribution to the Institute. We're also working on a, we have a link for healing. If you'd like to request a healing for someone, you can fill out the form. And we're also working on another link if you'd like to request a, re a reading. Uh, we're still working on the uh, technology for that, but you can always send us an email at contact at isdmadison.org. And are there any other announcements? No. Okay. Then we are going to pause the recording as we are going to affirmation of spirit. Father, thank you for all the marvelous things that you have done today. Thank you for your love that you have revealed to us. And for the love that we have shared together as your body. We pray for all the words that you have sown into our hearts this day. Watch over them, protect them. May they take root and produce wonderful things. Things of beauty and great blessings to many. As we leave this place now, thank you that you walk with us. <clears throat> May we be alert to your promptings and live in your endless love. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory in this age and forevermore, amen. May the love of the Father, the tenderness of the Son and the presence of the Spirit gladden your heart and bring peace to your soul this day and all days, amen. And thank you all for another wonderful service. We look forward to seeing you at our next service or at our Wednesday night meditation classes. God bless. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Diane.